Hey guys, it's Luke and welcome to the Jewel at Changi. Now my flight's not till probably about another six hours, but uh, I couldn't help but um, want to explore this incredible mall and just basically be chill before my flight. I really don't have any, I didn't really have any plans. Anything that I did plan today would have required me, you know, go home, grab my luggage and that sort of thing. But thankfully here at the Jewel, they have an early check-in. So if you're wanting to check out this place and you have a flight this day, Qantas passengers can, and I'm pretty sure most other passengers can check in up to 24 hours in advance. Like I tried checking in at the terminal and then I'm like, man, I thought there was a way I could check in early, but it's actually in the Jewel itself. So it's lunchtime. I'm going to grab some food and I am going to go explore this incredible shopping center that's within an airport. I mean, really here at Singapore, like what is, what is an airport lounge for anymore? I mean, like that many levels of shopping and relaxing and dining and this place is just incredible and of course the centerpiece the hsbc rain vortex i mean that is just incredible That's right, it's a John Don Donkey Star! Whoop, whoop. Look at him there, so adorable. Let's check out and see if this location has what I am after. Oh, and by the way, just them in the airplane windows, that's kind of cute, I love that. So what I'm after is a donkey plush. Um, there was one in a location in the city, but it was hanging up, so I wasn't sure if I could um, take that down. Um, but apparently that's what you do. Um, just grab it off the string and uh, away you go. That's kind of cool. Plushies here with Shiba Inu plushies. <laughs> Shiba Inu bags. Hello Kitty, hello Kitty. Ooh, what's this over here? Ooh. Oh, that's a Dompen. Sorry. Donko. Hmm. Don't really want Donko. Kind of proving to be a wild goose chase, unfortunately. I could get a shirt for $20. Or a long sleeve hoodie thingo. Well, then you got these ones in here for $15.90. Ah, uh, that's so cute for an airport store. As well as having those hanging up around the store as well. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, let's keep looking. Well, at least I know I'm not going crazy. There he is, just sitting up there. Urgh, annoying. And I try not to be one of those people that ask for stupid requests, like, 
see that up there. Can I have that? But I don't know, maybe I need to be. I don't know, that's probably the only way I'm gonna get my plush. I want that one. I want that one. I know what I sound like. <laughs> And one of the amazing things about having a Don Don Donkey in an airport, usually airport food is wicked expensive. But look at that. That's a jumbo chicken leg for $6.90. Or even $14.90 for a Yatori combo set. Nothing really here over $12. Apart, I guess, from the party. <laughs> but you get what I mean. This is pretty incredible for an airport. And then also here we have some various flavored Kit Kats. The only other place that I've seen these, I think, was Epcot last year. Some very interesting and wild flavors. Azuki sandwich flavor, anyone? <laughs> and then look at this one here. Shinshu apple. And well, sadly, that's me leaving Dong Dong Donkey empty handed. Um, sadly, I did actually ask if they had any out the back. And the ones around the store that they had sitting up on the TVs obviously were only for decoration. I didn't even push it. Um, I'm not one of those people that will, you know, tell them like a sob story. Oh, my child, blah, 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 whatever. Um, but yeah, there we go. Don Don Donkey here at the Jewel of Changi. Goodbye, Don Don Donkey. But the good part about then going downstairs is we get to take a, another interesting look at the fountain from a different perspective. I mean, just check this out. This is bonkers crazy. <laughs> this is the bottom of the rain vortex. And you know I'm definitely gonna get that in slow motion. So, here we go. W here like I wouldn't have expected to see one of these here in Singapore Wow all things considered though the prices here for an A&W not in America are better than well granted I did go to a tourist location the only other one that I went to recently well recently in the last 12 months was at Old Town in Semi, and those prices were absolutely ridiculous um, so to be able to get a double cheeseburger here for under $12 with a drink and fries, that's, for me, that's pretty good. Whereas I think it was like $16, $17, something at Old Town, so yeah, no thank you. Um, I'm actually in the mood for chicken, surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise! It's the greatest feeling nobody denies. So I'm heading off to the Colonel. And other than the fact that they have Coke with their KFC here, I must say, as far as the actual, so you got the spicy chicken and the original recipe, I actually think I like this better than Australian KFC. I don't know why, I think it's, it's a little less salty, which gives the other flavors, you know, room, room to shine. And the chips themselves don't have salt on them either. Um, which is a bit sad because KFC salt in Australia is the bomb, but there we go. So, yeah, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. All right, no more eating on camera. I will see you guys after. Also inside the jewel, we have a cinema chain which features a Limax cinema. Now these cinemas here in most of the shore theaters, especially the one that I went and saw June in the other night with my brother, um, they're only single laser projectors, but they do still have the 12 channel surround sound, which pretty much beats almost anything out in most cinemas at the moment, I dare say, even, especially if you're a fan of bass, Dolby Atmos. Um, 
At AMC, they put uh, little vibrators in the seats, like little bass inducers, which make the bass feel deeper. Um, but IMAX cinemas, they don't need to do that because the bass is deeper. Um, because it's only a 12 channel, not a 12.1. So the actual bass um, is actually mixed in the 12 channels itself, which are then crossed over. Sorry, I'm talking geeky now. <laughs> I'm just excited about cinema technology, guys. Um, basically, IMAX, bass good. Dolby Cinema, bass okay. And if anyone in the comments can tell me whether they actually still use this air control tower or if it's just now there for looks. I mean, it looks pretty well maintained, so I would assume they still use it. I mean, in there they still have all the flags and it, yeah, it just looks kind of clean. But well, that's a, uh, yeah. I don't know if that's new or if that's the original one. All right, so I'm not gonna go all the way up the top, but I'm pretty sure we can get a decent view from up there and see what we can see. Unfortunately, I found out the hard way that um, I'd left a couple of batteries at my brother's house. So I'm now recording on the iPhone. And um, yeah, I think this is where I'll leave the vlog for now. I need to go find a USB port to give the, uh, the camera batteries a charge. And if I get enough charge before the flight, well, then we'll do some more vlogging. But uh, this seems for now to be the end. And if it is, our vlog, thanks for joining me on my Singapore adventures and, well, see you on the next one. Bye for now.